What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. In today's video, we're going to be going through the brand new Big Mom mission that has arrived on One Piece Treasure Cruise Global. This is the mission that we were all aiming to unlock from doing the previous three missions, the Level Up mission, the Treasure Map NL mission, and the Co-op mission mission. So uh, we're going to go over to the website. There has actually been a massive update to the website, so we're going to go ahead and check it out. It says, warning. Big Mom is on a rampage. Join together with everyone to stop her rampage. Mission number four. From the 22nd of February until the 3rd of March, secret mission is underway. There is a special quest on Extra Island right now where you can deal damage to Big Mom's health. Cooperate with everyone to whittle her down to zero health to stop her rampage. So here we have Big Mom. We've got an infographic of her health bar. And as we do more damage to Big Mom, this will progressively go down. And it says, if Big Mom's health reaches zero by February 24th, so in two days' time, when the Sugo Fest goes live for the fourth year anniversary, something might happen. Now, what I'm expecting is going to happen is, is when the when the actual anniversary Sugo Fest goes live, it's probably going to change and it's going to be a new mission with the uh, six plus Big Mom and they might add more rewards as they go. So this is quite interesting here. So we can go ahead and put in our ID and it shows you how much damage that you yourself have done to Big Mom. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and we'll be right back. So I went ahead and just went ahead and put in my ID. You can see that so far, I have personally done 100 million damage to Big Mom. And in this video, we're going to be going through, uh, you know, kind of like the, the way you want to be doing this particular mission. Now, there are some insane rewards that you'll be able to get from completing this mission. So we can click Event Rewards, and we can see at the top, when Big Mom's HP has reached zero, everyone will get 10 Rainbow Gems. It says reward for the gems will be distributed three days, excluding Saturdays and Sundays from 1900 PST, the day that we knock out her health. This was the exact same event releases of the missions that we were doing before. So let's say, you know, one day we do it, the next time it's news o'clock, we get the reward, unless if it's a Saturday or Sunday. So if, if we do it on the weekend, then we'll get the reward on the Monday. So we'll get 10 gems relatively soon, likely when the anniversary actually starts. Hopefully we can beat Big Mom by then. Then, there are personal rewards. So the gems is only for the community knocking Big Mom all the way down to zero HP. Below that, everything you see below that is something that you can personally earn yourself. These are not community rewards. You personally will have to do damage to Big Mom in order to unlock these rewards. So the first reward, 1 million damage to Big Mom in total, will give you a rare recruit pool. Now remember, this is cumulative damage. This is not do this amount of damage in just one run. This is like every time you run it and you do damage to Big Mom, it adds to your score. So I know a lot of people were confused about that, but yeah, definitely like, especially because the last one do 200 million damage no one is doing 200 million damage in one turn so yes the first reward is a free try at rare recruit four star or better then five million damage gives you three tea time homies three star ones uh 10 million damage we get one set of final forbidden tomes so we get basically one of every single specific forbidden tome which is great at 20 million damage we get a sugo fest exclusive rare recruit pool at 40 million damage, you get 5 almighty manuals, so not a guaranteed skill up, but 5 chances at a skill up, which is fantastic. 60 million damage is 3 training drinks. Uh, it looks like it's going to be large training drinks. Yeah, it says training drinks L, so the completed banner was over that, but yeah. 3 large training drinks, which is quite a good reward. 100 million damage gets you another Sugo Fest exclusive rare recruit pool. At 130 million damage, we get one set of Guiding Stones. I'm not too sure how much they're going to be giving, but on the banner there, it does look like we get one of every single typing, which is great, uh, especially because, you know, getting these rewards would be nice to limit break some new characters. 160 million damage, one set of Absolute Almighty Manuals, 4-star and 5-star. So it looks like it might be one 4-star and one 5-star book. So that's fair enough, but we get two guaranteed skill ups for a four and five star unit, which is really, really good. And 200 million damage is a free try at Sugo Fest exclusive rare recruit as well. So this particular mission, when you complete it, will give you up to three Sugo Fest exclusive rare recruit pulls. Unfortunately, I'm not too sure if I'm going to have it cut out of the video at the moment, but down below the banner, it says reward distribution will start accordingly from March 11th. So that is one of the big downfalls of this, is that it looks like we're not getting our rewards for this mission until the 11th of March, which is like two weeks away, which eh, I'm actually pretty upset about that. I would have liked to have gotten them like the day we completed them, so I could just do three rare recruit pulls for you guys. 
unfortunately not the case so uh, that is such a shame but I mean the rewards are really really good it's just such a shame that we have to wait so goddamn long for them so that is the whole mission overview at this current point in time. Obviously, it's got all the completed stuff right now. So there's nothing really else on the website right now. I mean, if we scroll all the way to the bottom, it does now have the uh, the actual um, advertisement for the upcoming 4th anniversary Sugar Fest with Whitebeard, Big Mom, and Brooke, which is obviously really, really exciting. But now let's go ahead back over to the game and start talking about this particular mission. So with this Big Mom mission, there are three different difficulties. There is the 40 Stamina mission, the 30 Stamina mission, and the 15 Stamina mission. Now, I would recommend you guys, if you guys are trying to get the most damage possible against Big Mom, the 15 or 30 Stamina is the way to go because uh, they are much weaker, which means that you can deal more damage to them a lot easier. And we'll be showing you guys like the team that I use for this particular event at this current time. Also, the 40 Stamina mission is actually really good because you can drop all of the new Rare Recruit characters' skill books including legend big mom and legend brook and also get a chance at some absolute or not absolute but actual just almighty manuals which is fantastic as well as get cotton candies and homies so this is a great opportunity to pick up these skill books especially because with these specific skill books um th they should be uh, active during four times skill up when the sugar fest comes around so we'll be able to max out the whole new batch as long as you get you know the right amount of skill books of them um so yeah that's actually really cool i'm really excited about that particularly but in this video i mainly wanted to focus on just dealing damage to to big mom and trying to deal the most damage to her so the number one character that i would suggest to run for this event is having some sort of way to use v2 do flamingo because this does count special damage and we all know that v2 do flamingo has the potential to deal obscene amounts of damage to the enemy so v2 do flamingo is definitely the way to go if you do not have v2 do flamingo you can still build a driven based team with a friend v2 do flamingo but the amount of damage output that you'd get compared to some other teams that you might be able to build uh will be a lot lower so the team that i am using at this current time is a double well not really a double nami but i would love to have double nami if you have nami yourself it makes it a lot easier of course uh, but i'm running a v2 shanks captain with nami friend captain We've got V2 Doflamingo for the damage output from his special. We also have our Sabo as well. Treasure Map Sabo is fantastic for a conditional boost. We've got V2 Rayleigh, who I'm not too sure if I'm actually going to be using or not. I'll have to have a look. And we've also got Blackbeard as like a filler unit. I'm not really too sure who else to add because you got to make sure that you don't bring units that deal damage to the opponent. Otherwise, you're going to kill the mobs, which means you don't get as much uh, damage output from V2 Doflamingo special ability. So let's go ahead and jump into this. I believe I'm doing the 30 stamina one. I actually don't remember what one I clicked on, but I'm pretty sure I'm doing the 30 stamina one. And uh, we're going to get into this and hopefully deal a lot of damage against the big mom. So we're starting off at stage one here, and something that I really wanted to also say to you guys is that any damage you do in this dungeon does not count towards your score. The only time it counts towards your score is if you do damage to Big Mom. Now on stage four and stage five, there are both Big Mom bosses. So that's the thing as well. Like any, any damage I do here to these mob characters, it actually doesn't count. It's only when I do damage to a Big Mom character is when I actually will be getting damage towards my score. So, uh, the main uh, point is where we're going to be doing our burst turn. Now, the burst turn for us, we want to do it on stage 3. Now, stage 3 has the potential to have different mini-bosses. We are hoping to see the Cracker mini-boss arrive here. So, let's see what we get. We do get the Cracker mini-boss, which is exactly what we wanted here. So... Now we have Cracker arriving here. He's going to do his preemptive attack. Doesn't really matter. But this is the main reason why we wanted to do it here. Um, because we have a whole bunch of Dex characters and we got Cracker here. Now, uh, I'm going to just be very, very cautious here and wait one turn and wait for his defensive shield to leave. I know that Sabo reduces his defense, but Sabo is not a 100% defense reducer. He only reduces by 80% or something like that. So now is going to be the opportunity where I'm going to burst. So we're going to use our Nami special to give us the two times uh, orb boost and the two times, uh, or the 1.75 times color affinity. Uh, Shanks will give us all the orbs, the type boost, and the combo boost, and we're going to use this for our conditional boost. Now, this should be able to deal, like, insane amounts of damage. I could use a Rayleigh special as well, but I think having more mob characters will overall enable me to do more damage, so I don't know. We'll see how we go. We will see how we go. I think I'm going to start off with Cracker. And I think... Does Rayleigh have the least? 2000... No, Nami has the least. So we're going to go Nami, Rayleigh, Dofi, and then Blackbeard. Because Blackbeard has the most. So let's go ahead and do it and see how much damage we get. One... Oh, we missed! No! No! Ah! 
And we got 26 million damage, which is still really good. It could have been a lot more, but uh, that is such a shame that we did miss. But it's fine. We're still going to get some pretty good damage output here. On stage 4, here is the uh, Big Mom boss character I was discussing. We're going to use our Doflamingo special here. And this is all this damage from the Doflamingo special is going to count for this boss fight. So that's going to be awesome. So we're going to be able to get this damage off. And we get 52 million damage already added to our score so obviously this is like one of the better ways to do it uh, obviously there are better teams that can do way more damage than what i'm doing right now but this is just an option and the team that i'm running you know because that means that my score right now would be like 150 million so i only need 50 more like 50 more million and then i'm done so i could literally do this run again and i've got all my rewards so it's very very straightforward with a team like this uh, all we have to do now is actually defeat the boss so uh hopefully we can do that and not actually die so there we go, Big Mom is defeated, and then we've got a final boss on stage 5. So the stage 5 Big Mom is actually quite annoying, because she gives you all these recovery orbs and treats them as negative, and you can't use any orb manipulation, because if you do, she removes all your buffs, and I believe like she gives you like recovery and block orbs and stuff like that. So you basically do not want to bring any unit that has orb manipulation, so it's quite annoying to actually deal with this character. She also has a one-turn damage reduction shield, so that also is going to be quite an issue. I actually might take this time to actually recover some of this HP. It's going to be quite nice. And unfortunately, all Dex characters are going to be uh, sealed as well, uh, special binded. So that is also quite an annoyance in terms of actually dealing with this boss. But I mean, this is the 30 stamina version. If you want to do a little bit more damage, depending on what team you are running, you can run the lower stamina, the 15 stamina one, because, you know, obviously the bosses don't really do that much damage. So it's re relatively easy to deal with. I wouldn't recommend going for a mass burst turn on the 40 stamina version of the dungeon. However, like the 40 stamina version of the dungeon is where you want to be going ahead and you using your time to farm up the skill books for the actual um, characters that are coming out in the Sugo Fest. So there we go. We beat Big Mom and we're going to go ahead and check the website score. It should have updated by now and we should have had 52 million damage added to the score. And I think any damage that I dealt then to that Big Mom as well is also added. So a pretty decent amount of damage added from that one run. Uh, I know that people are able to get like obscene amounts of damage, like over 100 million from, from turns. So anyways, uh, we, we did that. I want to go show you guys the Chop Man missions as well. As you saw, we actually unlocked a new chop man mission so if we go to the world map and have a look it, it depends on how many runs you do for this particular mission so i think it's quite worth it so we go to the special missions if it allows me to go there there we go okay so we've got uh the 100,000 berries and we got turtles we got two silver powerhouse books that's actually really good we've got a three star rare recruit pool a three star or better rare recruit pool so you could get something nice out of that and then we've got five more silver books which is amazing 20 runs gives us a gem 25 runs gives us a gold powerhouse book is it one one gold powerhouse book We've got another Rare Recruit pool, another Gold Powerhouse book, and then three Rainbow Gems. That's for 50 runs. So that's pretty fantastic that they give you that amount of rewards. I don't know if people are going to go all the way to 50 runs. I'll try to because I would love to get the gems and I'd love to also get uh, these Gold books because USBs are always really, really nice to have. So let's go ahead and check the website now. If we go there real quick and we go ahead and we refresh the page... We should see that my total score has gone up to 154 million right there. So we checked the rewards. Uh, yeah, so we just got the 130 up to the 130 million rewards. And then we've got 160 and 200 million to go. So we'll see what happens. Maybe, you know, they might add more rewards as time goes on. Maybe it'd be awesome if we got another additional Sugo Fest exclusive pool. I'm not expecting it though. But there we go, guys. Get to farming this event. Uh, make sure to farm the lower stamina one to get the most damage output possible. I'm not saying that you can't do it on 40 stamina, but it's much easier to do it on the 15 or 30 stamina dungeon. But that's going to conclude this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. And if you guys did, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.